right, so here we go. This is the Ring of Fire. This is an EMOM workout. It's the Ring of Fire because we're just doing round and round and round, okay? So, and it should get start to burn, so hence the Ring of Fire. We have a 16 minute EMOM, so we're gonna need to set that up on our clock. 16 rounds, one minute each. We have four movements with this one today. Um, how that's gonna flow, we're gonna have alternating step back lunges with dumbbells. We're gonna go into double unders come back into double dumbbell deadlifts and then we're going to do 15 sit-ups. This is going to be a taxing workout. Um, you should be taking a challenging weight here. Uh, we're not looking to go fast, we're looking to work for about 45 seconds each minute. So get grab, try to grab a weight that's going to have you working like that. So first one, right, our double dumbbell step back lunges. We've got our two dumbbells, right, we're nice tall chest. We are just getting that knee to ground, right. Not slamming that knee in the ground, 20 net reps, okay? Um, if it's really too much and two dumbbells is too much, we can do that like a goblet, right? So if we just have to want to do it with one dumbbell, that's fine too. Actually, a goblet is really nice because it really encourages tall chest. I love the alternating in the suitcase position because that's also a chance to build some grip strength, okay? So that's minute number one, minute number two, great, minute number two comes up, that's our double unders. So we have 50 double unders program, we're here, great, so jump once, rope passes under your feet twice. So with that one there, uh, because of the nature of today's workout and this being the last Chance we'll probably see them in the intramural open this week. Um, if you want to use that opportunity to work on your double unders, that's cool. Take 30 seconds, 40, 30 seconds, work on your double unders. The remainder of the 15 seconds, just hammer out single unders. That's fine. Okay, if we don't have that skipping rope, we've got our plate hop on off this one rep, or we've got that line, right? That's our other opportunity. Minute number three comes along. We go double dumbbell deadlift, right? So we're a nice tall chest. We're here, right? 20 double dumbbell deadlifts, okay? So what we really wanna focus on, trying to keep that spine as neutral as possible, so look ahead, right? Shoulders and hips rising at the same time. Again, this is gonna test some grip, and it's a good chance to work that posterior chain. After that, we get down to ground. Minute number four, it becomes 15 setups. So we're reaching long behind us. Hands touch the ground every time. Chin, chest, that doesn't change distance. We're sitting up, right? We're lifting with our core. Shoulders get past that hip crease. If we can't keep our feet together, right? We're here, we're still touching our toes and we're still maintaining that standard. Okay, that's for 15 reps. So for working rounds of that, it's gonna get sweaty. It doesn't look like much on paper, but it's gonna pile up on you. Good luck.